Hello, Tuan. Good afternoon. Did you hear teacher Anne? Hello. Okay. Oh, did you hear me? Did yes. you hear teacher? Okay, very good. So how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And okay, you? yeah, I, uh, I'm fine, of course. I'm here in school. And then it's raining, actually, it's raining outside. The weather in the Philippines, it's that almost every day it rains. Okay, how about there in Vietnam? It's sunny and... It's sunny, yeah? Yeah. The and, weather is uh, good? Yes. In Ho Chi Minh it's... City? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you're living in Ho Chi Minh City, right? Yeah. Okay, and so, so the weather is very good. Yes, here in the Philippines, the weather is not good. It rains every day, as in every day. Okay, so now, okay, we back what we had talked before last uh, Wednesday. So teacher Anne was not able to be with you last uh, Friday. So today we're going to continue what we have talked about. Okay, for a while, I need to change my eyeglass. Okay, so and teacher Anne was not able to, to have class with you last Friday because of the internet is not really good at that time and it keeps on raining every day here in the Philippines. So now, Tom, you have to tell me if you cannot understand teacher, but I know you're a very good speaker. Very good. Okay. So now, Todd, we're going to continue here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 We're going to continue for a while about what we talked the last time. Okay. Do you still remember what we talked the last time? What is our topic? We talked uh, about the country. Yeah. Yeah, the different countries here. So for a while, the trend so so showing everything here. Okay, so now we're just going to continue about this, and we're going to talk about the countries. Okay, so mm -hmm. just a while. You will go into school after this class. Uh, yes. Wow, how was your school today? It's good. It's good, okay. It's good to know also that it's good. So for a minute, I, I, I need you to wait for two minutes. Good thing you came here very early. Okay, for a while. Okay, let's see. It rains a lot here in the Philippines. It rains every day. Are you eating your lunch? You're done? Not okay. Mm. Oh, teacher is dancing again. Every day. Yes. Okay. So we have here as a short review the last time we talked about country, right? We do have different questions and I ask questions to you and you answer me. You told me, I still remember that you told me that you, one of your favorite country is you want to go to China. You want to go to Japan. Hey, okay. and here, so now we talk about Asia. We talk about Africa. We talk about Europe and we talk about America. I told you before that uh, we belong to Asian countries like the Thailand, the Philippines, Vietnam, Myanmar, Cambodia, Japan. We belong to Asian countries. Okay. And now we're going to talk as part of those that uh, we talk about countries. We're going to see, I can see that our country has a beautiful beach, forest, towers and road okay so we have okay. here some of the things that we have to talk like beaches okay tell me about the beach in thailand do you have a lot of beautiful beach there 
How about in Ho Chi Minh City? In Ho Chi Minh City? Yes. It doesn't have any beach. Oh, it you don't have... have a river. Oh, only a river and not a beach. Where where is exactly part in Thailand where you can see about uh, the the beautiful beaches? How about in Danang? Is no is in uh, Nha Trang. It ah. has a beautiful beach. Ah, in Nha Trang, it has. Okay, it has. Okay, always remember that. Don't forget one. It has a beautiful beaches okay wow so in the philippines particularly in bohol philippines where teacher and live in the philippines we have a beautiful beaches okay we have many beaches and then you know why that is one of because our place bohol i am living in bohol bohol is part of the philippines it's somewhere in visayas and then here in our place Tuan, we are actually an island. It's an island of Bohol, and it has. We have one of the tourist spots here is our beach. We have this most beautiful beach. We called it somewhere in Panglao. Okay, it's a very nice one. It is the Alona White Beach. Okay, there is this white sand bordering clear turquoise water and then aside from that so we have it's a long way okay very white beach okay white sand okay and there's turquoise water okay so it's a beautiful one it's in bohol we call it as alona white beach okay it's beautiful in panglao somewhere in our bohol, in our place okay so i don't know Okay, in other part of the country, Philippines, we have a lot of beaches here. How about towers? Do you know what is tower? Um, tower, <coughs> yes. No. Yeah, so can you give me, okay, since, okay, I know that our topic is mostly all about speaking. So you have to talk and teacher and will also talk. We need to have the free talk, right? So can you tell me, okay, do you have any idea of the tallest tower in the world? Do you know what is that? That's a trivia. Do you know what is that? What's the Eiffel. tallest? What's that? The yeah. Eiffel. The Eiffel Tower is where? It's in? In Paris. It's in Paris. Okay, teacher Anne told you that Paris is a romantic place for love. Okay, so here, you know what? One of the tallest tower in the world, you know where is it? Can you guess? It's no. in Japan. Oh, you know what's the name? You know what's the name? Um. It's in Japan, the tallest Towers. I don't remember, but it's in Tokyo. Yeah, it's in Tokyo. And then what's the name? It is Sky Tree. It's Sky Tree Tower. It's the tallest in the world. Oh, it's the Sky Tree. Okay. So many towers, a beautiful towers in the in the in the world actually. So we have the Eiffel Tower, the most visited tower towers in the in the world. Okay, the in the Paris, of course, Paris in the France. It's a beautiful country. Another is we have talking here about the forest, the forest here. Do you know what's that? Okay, what do you mean by forest? <coughs> It, it is. Area uh, has a lot of tree and animals. Very good. It is a forest. Is a areas of land. It okay. It is an areas of land dominated by trees. So a lot of trees growing in the forest. And do you know? Although the forest seems like oh, teacher forest. I love it in the forest because there's a shade and it's very calm and it's cold out there because of many trees, right? But then, yeah. you know, white one, there is the most, okay? Can you see that there is this, the most dangerous forest? Do you know what's that dangerous forest? Amazon. 
Yeah, very good. What makes Amazon the dangerous forest in the world? You know where is it? Where is Amazon located? In uh, Brazil. In Brazil, yeah, it's in Brazil. Okay, Amazon is located in Brazil. And then, what makes Amazon very dangerous or the most dangerous forest in the world? Why? Okay, where did you where did you where did you learn it? it it's 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 Amazon. Because it have a lot of angry predator. <coughs> yeah, there is a lot of predators. angry predator. And then aside from that, you know what happened? Uh, what can you tell me more about Amazon forest? I saw it in the in the in the Google, and then there's also a movie about that a particular movie, and that they uh, they actually feature about the Amazon forest. Okay, so what can you say about Amazon forest? Very good one. What can you say about that? And it have a lot of. Um, it has a lot of. It has. It has. It has a lot of group. A very angry group. And they can eat we. Yes, okay. They can, they can eat us. Oh my God. So that makes it dangerous also. And then also when you go inside the Amazon forest, you know what? So in Amazon forest, it is, uh, you are, uh, what's that? You are nearly, okay. So, I mean, when you go there, so there are lots of mosquitoes in Amazon, in the forest. So when you go there, you need to have vaccine. You need to have a vaccine for that because those mosquitoes are carriers of malaria and yellow fever. So it's very dangerous. So when you go inside, when you plan to go to Amazon forest, all you have to do, you need to have vaccine of malaria and yellow fever because it's very dangerous. I don't know why. Maybe because mosquitoes love that place. And the mosquitoes are carriers of malaria and yellow fever. And it will cause you to death. It's very dangerous. That's one of the reasons why Amazon forest is dangerous. dangerous. <coughs> oh. And also, there is what you call the hungry predator okay very good okay next is here another one is the what's the last one road okay the road okay so in the road here what do you think is the most dangerous road in the world okay let's see this one okay there is this one featured in the youtube it is the Yungas Road somewhere in Bolivia. Okay, I can, okay, you try to check that one in the YouTube after our class. You can check. It's Yungas, Yungas Road in Bolivia. Okay, Bolivia. So there, you can find it there. There, the road is so narrow. Oh my God. And it is deep. And it's not cemented. It is rough. Okay, so it's only one way. So you should have, you need to be careful with that when you go inside that road because it's very dangerous. That's in Bolivia. That's the first. Okay, and you know what? They are already computed. They computed how many death fatalities happen every 10 miles. Okay, they can kill the person 70 people every 10 miles. That's roughly about 300 people a year. Okay, so many, so many. Many people kill or many people dead or died in that road through the accident. It's 300 people a year, every year. Okay, so that's how dangerous the Yungas Road. Okay, it's in Bolivia. I anyway in the Philippines, I don't know much more about the road, which is the, the 
maybe it it featured also in the YouTube. I don't know in Vietnam also. So, how about you? Do you want to travel all by yourself? Like you don't have your families, only your friends? No. Oh, why? Because when at night I uh, very alone if I don't have any relative near my because my friend must to go to their home and sleep with their family. Oh, so you don't like to be alone. You want with your family. Okay, but have you traveled to other countries, one? Like you traveled to Thailand, like that. Have you traveled? Have you tried to travel? No. No. What? Have you traveled in other places? Aside, no. outside Vietnam? No. No, not yet. Okay. So let's move here. Thank you for sharing your ideas about this one. So here, okay, for a while. So, can you explain why this country is worth be such a good place to visit? You already told me about that. Why you like Japan, you like China, like that, right? Okay. So, here we are part two. We have first. Firstly, read the model. Example, the practice talking about the country. So, we already knew about this one. Okay. So, we have here some vocabulary words. Okay, we have here vocabulary words. Okay, can you see that one? Can you read it, one? Political. 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 Next. Religious. Yes. Civilization. 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 Okay, next. Moment. Monument. Monument. Next. Numerous. Yes, very good. Next. Witness. 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 Yes, Witness. next. Next. Territory. 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 Next. Significant. 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 Okay, so they were actually here for a while, talk for a while, for a while, uh, for a while. Okay, where is it? What? Okay. okay, so as you can see here, there are, uh, I mean, there are actually, what's that? Conversion of Vietnam, political. Tuak V Chen 3, I don't know what that is. That, is that Tuak V Chen 3? Is that the, the what's that? The, the Vietnamese? Talk B Chantry. Talk B Chantry. Chantry, yeah. Okay, is that what? What do you mean by talk? I don't. It. I thought it's Vietnamese. Talk B Chantry. It's not Vietnamese. Talk. Yeah, yeah. This one political. Can you see that one? Political. This one. What does it mean? Ah, what does it mean? It's political. It's a Viet. Yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, I mean, it's a Vietnamese word. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So, I assume that you, you understand these words. Political, religious, civilization, monument, numerous, witness, territory, and significant. Do you understand all of this word, Duan? Yes. Okay, very good. Wow, very smart. Okay, so here now. Okay, so I guess we are done with the reading nine. So uh, reading 10, I uh, speaking 10. So let's move to spec speaking 11. Okay, for a while. We train a lot here in the Philippines every day. Okay, this one.
Okay. So in unit 11, can you see that? It's the present. Okay. Do you love present? Yes. Yeah, of course. Okay. So have you ever received a present this year during your birthday? In your birthday, what did you get? Did you receive a present? Uh, yes, but just <coughs> in Christmas and uh, my birthday. Wow, of course, also here in the Philippines, you can only have the present if it's Christmas or birthday. Okay, it depends if you have a lot of money. Okay, so we have here when we say present, it's gift, right? It's a gift. And here, now, Tuan, can you describe a present or a gift that someone give you that you really like? Is um, a puppy. Oh, really? What kind of puppy is that? What's the breed of your puppy? Every. Every. What is that? Very, very small or big one? More. Oh, so cute. And then, how old is a puppy now? What? How old is the puppy? No, 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 no. Ow. What? Can I speak again? <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. So, you describe the gift or the present someone give to you and that you really like it. Um, it is. It is? Someone uh, that you really like and you will say, Oh my God, I like it, teacher. I like it, mom. A teddy. Ah, a teddy. What's the color of the teddy? It's a teddy bear, right? Uh, Am I? Okay, what's the color? Oh, really? Okay, who gave it to you? It's in Christmas. Oh, it's Christmas. Wow. So, your mom gave it to you? Uh, I don't know. Oh, who gave? oh, it's a surprise? No. I think oh. uh, I think it's my mom. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's your mom. You just don't know. Okay. So, look at this. Somehow, we can receive a present like clothes, a book, a puppy like that. So we keep on thinking, I want a Christmas gift. Okay. So do you have a wish? Do you have a, have wish? a wish? Yeah. What yes, is your wish? I have, I have a puppy. Oh, you wish to have a puppy? Oh, so that is your wish. Okay. So, do you like giving present to other? Example, Tuan, you already received something from your mom. Do you want to give a present to others? Do you want to give present to others? Yes. Oh, like? Okay. So, have you tried giving present or gift to other people, especially the poor, mm -hmm. the poor children? Have you tried? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, okay. So, in the Philippines, the one here in our place, uh, during Christmas, okay, so in our school, the children will give something like uh, their used clothes, toys, they will give it in our school. And then the teachers like me, we will go to a particular place it's an orphanage. You know what is orphanage? Uh, no. Okay, wait here. I will I will spell it out. Okay, here. This one. Okay, can you see? Okay, I will write here. Do you know this word? Okay, yeah. That one, orphanage. Do you know mm. this word? You know what is orphanage? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, orphanage, no. okay, so I will tell you, it is a place for orphan. The one 
who doesn't have parents. Okay. So orphanage are the place for the orphan. Orphan are the children who does or do, who don't have parents. Orphan are the place for children or for a child who doesn't or who don't have parents. No parents. Okay. You will put in the orphan if you don't have parents. Okay. So of course, no one will take care of you. So what we did, Duan, we go to the orphanage, we give That's present. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Can I open the door for my dad? Yeah, of course. You go. Go. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so in orphanage, it is a place for orphan. Again, orphan. No parents, you are orphan. So you will put in the orphanage. So what did teacher do? We gather all the toys, we gather all the clothes, pack it, we'll pack, and then give it to the orphans. We do it every year, every Christmas. The teachers give it to the orphan. Okay. So I don't know if you have like that in Vietnam. We do it in Philippines, in our place. Okay? Yay. Yeah, hey. Okay, so you understand now. So here yeah. I'll say, okay, you understand that. You know, the one, it's very important. It's a nice uh, attitude, a character to give someone. Okay. Now, when do you receive the present or give present to others? During Christmas. Right? How about birthday? Did you give something to your friend during birthday? Yes. Oh, what else? And, uh, and uh, <clears throat> Christmas because my family have a small game in uh, Christmas. Yes. And this is everyone each each of people have uh, one present we will give another we will sing a song and when the song stop and oh yeah yeah the present stop in what people is the present is to the people. Ah, okay. So you do like that also. In the Philippines, the one we call it exchange gift. Okay, did oh. you do it already? In the Philippines, we call it, yo. what you did is we call it here, exchange, okay, sorry. Exchange gift. Okay, we do exchanging of gift. We do exchanging of gift. Okay, we exchange gift. Example, I have gift, I will give it to you. And your gift, you will give it to others. Like that, and we will sing a song. Like that, the same here in the Philippines. Yeah, we call it exchanging of gift. Yeah, we are the same. We do it in Philippines also. Okay, so that was during Christmas. How about birthday? Have you tried giving a gift or a present in a birthday? Example, your cousin's birthday. Um, yes. Oh, really? What did you give? You give? Give uh, um, shoes. I don't know. Give uh, small Hachimos. Oh. The, did you know Hachimals? Oh, what's that? Hachimals? Is that character? It's a cartoon yeah. character? Yeah. The small one? It's a small, small character. Yeah, is, the small character. 
small character. Uh, we will. Uh, is small character and it have. Um, it has. It has. It has a mode. <coughs> a mode of some animals and it will have uh small it will have a uh, wings on the hatchimals okay so it has a wings of course i know the hatchimals is the small what's that it's actually the small animal small character yeah i knew it Okay, next. Oh, at least you're giving something the birthday. Okay, now let us this one. So these are the things that probably we can have the gift. Okay, we can receive the present first when you pass your exam. Okay, when you pass your exam, you can receive a present from your mom and dad, right? That's one. Okay, have you tried it? that you pass the exam and your mom give you one i will have a surprise oh your mom do like that have you tried it no oh no. but you're very smart yeah <laughs> wow but my mom don't give oh maybe me some presents maybe not yet maybe I in the future but you are very smart right yeah yes teacher okay how about um in your school in your class do you uh most of your classmates can speak english well or no uh, no no how many how many cannot speak english very few and only few how many yeah. in your class who can speak can speak english is uh ahead of the class and uh my some of my friend yes some of my friend some of your friend don't know yeah. how to speak english yes wow so, yes. no 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 few of my friend can Speak, speak English. English. A few of your friends can speak English. But how, how how about inside your class? How many can speak English? Can speak? Can. Is, yeah, can, um, can. Is, um... Ten? Yeah. No, is... I think is twenty-eight. Oh, that's many. How many are you inside the class? How many students in my class? Yes, yes. It's 38. Oh, so at least only few don't know how to speak English. Most of you can speak English well. No. Most of my friends in my class can't speak English. And 10 students in my class can speak English. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so at least you're very smart because you know how to speak English well. Very good. Yeah, because you're a great English speaker. You know how. Okay, how about this? Example, it's holiday. What's the best holiday in Vietnam? Is take holiday ah tat when will be the tat yeah tat. when 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 in uh uh in eight february eight february eight february ah, february eight until what until when until in uh Until <laughs> until 
How six, many days? Six, How many days? Six, to sixteen. To sixteen February. Ah, yeah. it's one week. It's that holiday. Yeah. Oh, so you don't have class at the time in school. No class. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So very good. It's holiday. I see now. I am familiar with that, but I don't know when. Okay. Christmas. Do you celebrate Christmas one? Uh, what? Do you celebrate Christmas? Yeah. 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 When? It's 25 of December. The same in the Philippines? Yeah. Yeah. In the Philippines, we celebrate it. 25th of December. It's our Christmas. How about birthday? When will be your birthday? In seventeen uh, November. Oh, November 17 and you will be turning 12? Yeah. Yeah, wow. So you will be grade six then. I mean, you're grade six now, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. So all this, the birthday, passing your exam, Christmas, holiday, you can receive a present or a gift. It may that uh, somehow we cannot receive because uh, maybe our mom forgot like that. Okay, now... I will ask you. Okay, by the way, I will just erase first. Okay, so here. So example here. So which do you prefer? Giving, you will give or you will receive? Which do you like? You like to give or you like to receive? I like to uh, receive. Oh, you like to receive and you don't like to give. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? There is a saying. Okay, listen to teacher. There is a saying goes here. It is, okay. What? Okay, I will write here. It is. Hey, this is the saying goes that one, it is better to give than to receive. Okay. It's nice if you can give without asking something in return. Like, I will give my shoes to my classmates because my classmate is poor. They don't have money. Okay, You will give your... You will give your shoes. I will give my shoes. Okay, you will give your shoes because your classmates or your friend don't have money. So you will give your shoes. Okay, so since you give your shoes, don't expect something in return. Don't expect that your classmates, the one you give the shoes, don't expect that they will give you something in return because they don't have money. Okay, you understand, teacher? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the right thing, you will be happy inside your heart because you give something to someone. And it's Christmas Day. Christmas is giving. Giving. You understand, teacher? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this, is the, uh, this is the passage or this is a saying goes, it is better to give than to receive. Okay. Better yet, you will give. Don't expect something, okay? It will be given to you, okay? And you know why? You know what, Ton? Somehow, okay, for a while, somehow, you will realize somebody will give you something. Oh, my God. I don't know. I am surprised, teacher, because somebody give me something, and I don't know who is it. Okay. You know why? Why it happened that you received something from you don't know? Because you give something. It's from your heart. You give something to your friend who is poor. And so, just exactly, you receive something. A surprise. Then you didn't know, oh, it's your dad. Your dad give you your most favorite 
thing in Christmas. The one you wish and you are surprised. You didn't expect it. The one who give you is not your friend because your friend don't have money. It's your dad. Oh, see? That's the value of giving here. Okay. That's what we call the value of giving. Okay. If you think you can give something, you can get something in return, but in no time. And you don't know who gave it to you. Okay. We don't know that one. That is what we call Tuan as the value of giving. Don't mind to give. You can give. That's being, what do you call that one? If you are a great giver. Okay. If you are, yeah, sorry, a great giver, you are a generous person. Okay. If you are a great giver, you are a generous person. Okay. You remember that one. Don't forget this one tab. Always remember this one. If you are a great giver, you give on something. Even a small one, even the small one, you are a generous person. And someday, you don't know in the future, you will be blessed. You can receive anything you wanted because you give something. Okay, you understand, teacher? Yes. Yeah, that's the value of giving. So better giving. yet, you will give. Don't expect something in return do you understand teacher and yeah yeah hey very good okay so do you have anything to add about giving and receiving can you add something or do you have in your mind about this no okay so it's okay do you understand what teacher told you yes yeah very good okay here next Welcome. Okay, next. Here, in part two, we already talked about this here. Okay, let's talk about the best present. Okay, you are here. Actually, what's this? We have here some of the words. We have purchase, passion, and wrap. Fabulous and troll. Okay, so we have here some of the words. Okay, can you read it, Tom? At one, sorry for a while. I need to, oh, sorry, I need to erase. Okay, so please read it, Tom. One, the best, the best gift or present <coughs> that I have each received is. A digital directionary dictionary dictionary that my mother bought me on my eighteenth birthday. Oh. I once told my mother about this electronic electronic dictionary and how some of my classmates were using it. I never told my mother that I want to buy one, but I guess my mother knew very well how much I want to own this item. Okay. She had to save money, I guess, to purchase it for me, and this is the best gift I have ever received in my life. <coughs> Considering the patient and love is in the way. In break. In wrap. In wrap. Yeah. You wrap. Oh yeah. This was not merely an a gift item or an electronic device. It was more than that. Like a wonder book warp with care and love. I thank my mother's for this fabulous. 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 Yeah. And she was so happy to see me in about 
and sales about the gift. This is the only gift for my teenage time that I still have. I will always remember my mother loves that was blent with this gift. Okay, the best narrator said that the best gift or present that she has ever received is a digital dictionary. That was their mother bought that 8th birthday. Oh, her mother used to have, okay, I never told that I wanted to buy one, but I guess my mother knew very well how much I wanted to own this item. She had to save money, I guessed, to purchase it for me and this best gift I have received in my life, considering the passion and the love in Wrapped. Okay, so as you can see here, the narrator said that her mother bought a electronic dictionary. Okay, so she is so happy and fabulous about the gift her mother her mother save money for this okay so we have here the words purchase passion in raft fabulous in trail we have all the words here these words are the words that we can find in vocabulary purchase passion in raft fabulous in trial. this word as you can see you look at the meaning. Okay, do you understand, Tuan? You want a yes. homework, Tuan? You want homework? Uh, no. no. No, okay. So it's okay. So, of course, again, we don't have enough time. It's already 12.45. 12.45, but in the Philippines, it's already 1.46. So, after this, you are going back to school. What time is your class? In uh, what time you will have your class? Uh, 1 p.m. Ah, in 1 p.m. So, teacher Anne will say goodbye for now and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, are you happy today, Tuan? Oh, teacher want to ask about that. Are you happy? Do you like what yes. we are talking about? Yeah. Wow, very good. Okay, so for now, teacher will say bye bye, Tan. Bye bye, teacher. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Of course. Oh, you go to school now. Take care. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye.